mission, you dance. Good morning, Glenn. What is up YouTube and welcome back to Bike Hub Japan. So I've done it again, as you can see behind me, bought another shitbox. Let's go and have a look at this old bike. So for those of you who don't know, and it's quite hard to tell to be honest, this is a YZF750R. So it's a very old one, 1994, quite hard to find these days. Um, and this one obviously has been street fighted, but it has some good points. So the first thing is it's got a full system which is quite rare for these bikes you, normally you just get slip-ons uh, because I think these had the X-up valve so this one obviously doesn't um, but yeah it's um, I don't know how much horsepower they've got but it goes bloody well the first gear acceleration on this you need these big old wide bars to hold on because it goes like fuck so yeah it's got obviously some sort of homemade um, top yoke conversion to fit a rental bars um, it's got this hideous tattoo kind of print on the tank and the seat which is like one of those hydro dip things so I was thinking it'd be easy to rub that off there must be some sort of alcohol to get rid of it but apparently not it will need sanding but that's not the end of the world because I don't really like this color anyway so one of the things I am thinking of doing is replacing the R1 seat unit with a YZF 750R race single seat unit because uh, you can get them on eBay and fiberglass pretty cheap so I'm thinking of changing the seat paint the seat in the tank uh, probably is something like a dark grey but the front fender doesn't need painting because it is actual real carbon fibre so that will save some money on the paint um, but overall it's in good shape it's filthy at the minute but it just needs a lot of cleaning and TLC hello dog do you want to be on my video? <laughs> All right, so little doggo wanted to get in the shop, but yeah, as I was saying, I used the sort of light fitting on the forks as a bit of a negotiation point, so I got the price down. It was super cheap. Um, yeah, the frame's nicely polished, as you can see, but I mean, it is really dirty, so just I'm not really showing it in a good light here, but uh, it's got this little dash, um, just shows the mileage, the speedo, stuff like that. Um, it's only got 20,000 miles on it, which it's probably genuine because I can tell that from the old inspection um, certificates that it came with. The other thing I'm not sure about is it's got a Brembo rear master cylinder and it's very powerful. It locks up really, really easily. Um, yeah, the swing arm standard, I think. Nice little homemade bracket for these also. Might look shit to some people, it's quite nicely done. Um, but yeah, it's basically um, a bit of a winter hack and a bit of a fixer-upper over time but no point really fixing her up because it's still a fairly cheapo bike but I think I will um, when I can be bothered really and when I've got spare funds but for now she's gonna be my winter whip so without further ado let's go and take her for a spin right we've got a bit of a quiet quiet industrial stay here to have a play on Ah, oh, I love these big bars. Yeah, man, this thing is fast. How can it be so fast? It's mad. Oh, man, I love it. I really hope that the sound is coming out on the GoPro because it sounds brilliant and it goes well 
I won't tell you how much I pay for it because there is a, a slim chance that I'll be putting it on eBay to try and make a profit. <laughs> but it was cheap, trust me. Right, first gear, flat out. Damn! It is quick, boys. Off, off on the power then. I clutched it a little bit, didn't come up on the clutch and then it came up on the power. Oh, I wonder what size sprocket's got on it. I'm going to have to have a look at this. If it's got a small sprocket on it, I think maybe, just maybe, we should put like a massive stunt sprocket on it and just go mad over the winter, just do wheelies everywhere. quite cold and a bit wet on the road today so I can't really push it too hard but I've got to say for a 1994 cheap as chips bike I'm impressed really impressed bloody hell the guy I bought it off didn't really know that much about it because he bought it off um, the guy that did all the gay graphics on it he bought it off him, so his friend built it, but he didn't know what had been done to it really, so I'm I'm wondering what kind of car that's got on it, because it is, it's rapid, honest to God. I know I'm like, oh I just bought a bike so I'm all excited and happy and stuff, but I swear to God this thing is quick. Right, anyway, first ride, anyway we're done, the first, the test ride is done, so I think um, next video let's let's give the girl give the old girl a good old clean up and uh, then we'll see what see what see what i'm feeling like in a week or so but right now i'm thinking bloody hell i got myself a bargain fuck me this is quick fucking quick boys wow 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 i'm impressed all right guys that's enough waffling i'll see you guys in the next video Ciao for now!